Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. I, uh, I'm setting up here and I noticed that first of all, I didn't bother to upgrade all of my characters all the way. How did, how did this happen? How did I upgrade just Manacles and then leave the rest of his skills, like totally space out on it? Well, I guess Manacles and Transform. Also, um, we don't have the right camping stuff, so before we get into the mission, we're going to do my favorite thing, which is spend a whole bunch of my money. Hmm. We can afford an upgrade. And we probably should take it, right? Gold is pretty important. I hate spending more of my crests. I think, I think I've come down on, uh, yes, on the cartographer's camp. Uh, a little bit of advice from, uh, from the fans has, has set me, I think, on that path. So I really do want to save crests. The Cartographer's Camp is going... One of the effects of the Improved Torchlight, apparently, is additional loot. So, if we can... The earlier we can get the Cartographer's Camp built, the more extra loot we will get. And it may well be that the extra loot offsets the extra cost of upgrading uh, for a little while while we're saving up. So I think I am... I'm going to save it. So... Still, we must, we must uh, buy up these skills. And I mean, I guess we better go all the way. It's a boss fight, like, let's take it seriously. That's a big, chunky upgrade sound, I like it. Oh man, we're not even all geared up, man. Man, I thought we were, I thought we were gonna be cool to go. Well, let's, let's dump one of these. That's why we took the second one. And what else is getting sold? I'm honestly, thinking some of these trinkets might be going. They're not all great, you know? Oops, sorry, I meant to left click. This is a little bit less important. But we should do it, though. Everybody should be upgraded. Alright, what's what's not good? I don't think this is good. Can I sell this? No, I cannot sell that. <laughs> no, Nobody is gonna buy that. Fair enough. Uh, what looks like I'm not excited about it. I'm not excited about this. It will be mine, whatever the cost. Nah. It will be the merchants, whatever the cost. That's how that works. Because, like, this is a boss fight. And yeah, it's a fight against one of the easier bosses. But still, it's a boss fight, and we should, like, take it seriously. I don't want to have somebody... As much as I'm like, oh, it's one of the easy bosses, who cares? I also don't want to be the guy who lost people to the necromancer. Right? Okay, one last thing. We have to buy this. Very important. Sure, Dog's Moon. He's playing that old game, that old game, Dog's Moon. Classic, we all know it. So, I'm gonna have to sell one more thing to make ends meet here as far as the uh, provisions go. Let's step in. Are we just hard out of blood? Did that happen? Yeah, I guess it did. So wait. But no, we, we used up all of our blood. But we have the Sanguine Vintners. Shouldn't they have brewed two blood at the beginning of the week? Hmm. Okay, well, I'm, whatever. It's not hugely important. What's another thing that I don't care for? A lot of this stuff, I think there's a chance that it will be useful. Okay, so we'll sell a couple of greens. What's a, what's a couple of greens that we're not using? I actually like this. I know we don't use our Crusader too much. I'm going to sell that for sure. Um, so where are we at on... Man, I really am running low on money. We're going to have to run some greens. So we definitely want to bring at least two shovels and like a key. And we could probably run on this and a couple shovels and a key. So we gotta sell, like, one more trinket. Steady Bracer's fine. Honestly, the Bleed Amulet is not that useful. We're cutting right down to the wire on this one, man. There's a fair amount of Holy Water stuff. The key is mostly in case we find a secret room. But honestly, there's a lot of interactables that use keys. There's also... I'm trying to remember... 
there's these alchemical tables, and if you use, it's either antivenom or medicinal herbs, which for some reason I can never keep straight in my head, on them, you get some good experimentation. And you get gold out of it. I'm gonna bring this. We're going, like I said, to the wire. Everybody's, everybody's up, everybody's ready. We all got equipment, and okay, let's do it. Kill a boss. I entertained a delegation of experts from overseas, eager to plumb the depths of their knowledge and share with them certain techniques and alchemical processes I had found to yield wondrous and terrifying results. Having learned all I could from my visiting guests, I murdered them as they slept. Well, at least this time he did it quickly and while they were the unconscious. Devil walks these holes. Only the mad or the desperate go in search of him. Wow. That is a densely packed couple of opening hallways there. Uh, well, let's, let's poke our head out here. Obviously, we're not going to go this way, but... <clears throat> Jeez. Three obstructions already. And so much fighting. I don't know that I've ever seen this before. Fight on the tile before a room, fight in the room, fight on the tile after. Nobody read that. Everybody just pretend you don't see the books. Oh, we're not really that good at traps. Curious Whatever, it's fine. Maker's art. His efficacy unwitnessed by his own eyes. Yeah, we're not great at traps. That's something I didn't really uh, didn't really consider when we were putting the party together. Aw, that's a shame. I had high hopes for the way that was going. So these guys are pretty scary. I do not like to let them have a lot of turns. There's not always a ton you can do about it. But we are currently on a 150% stun chance, which is an 80% chance for this to actually work. Good enough for me. And then we got the Iron Swan, because screw you and your stupid cup, holy crap. Holy crap, that was a lot of damage. Uh, that's pretty unlikely to work. Wow. That actually is uh, lethal. He's gonna blight out before he gets another action. Twelve is a... that's a fair amount of damage for an attack that is mostly a high-value stun. Get him. The Yawp is at 155, so it's not super unlikely to work. It's a 45% chance. Do I want to go for that? No, I think we'll, we'll endure one. We should be able to bring him down before the next one, I think. Also, this party is, like, tough as hell. We have a lot of healing. We should be very resilient. Resilient is maybe a better word than tough. Okay, he's dead. Slowly, gently, this is how a life is taken. So... I'm going to just take a moment and get some heals out here. The occultist is going to heal the Hellion, so... Yeah, there you go. That killing blow, a little stress relief, maybe? Ah, no such luck. Anything that's even the slightest bit risky, the, stuff is only the, first the abomination gets to do. Now it must be carried home. Because he has a very efficient self-heal and self-de-stress. Also, I think I'm pretty sure that the thing I'm about to say is right. I'm like 60% sure. Uh, I believe it is the case that maps that you find in Curios that reveal a bunch of stuff will not reveal secret rooms. So it's... It's possible that there's a secret room that we're kind of, well, we're walking past right now and we're going to have to, like, well, not in this hallway. This hallway we got with a real scout. But you know what I mean. It's possible that there's a secret room yet unrevealed. 
off. I mean, that was pretty likely. Stick the bleed. Yeah. Decimated. Nice work. Nice work. There's a pretty good chance. Yeah, I was gonna say. There's a pretty good chance they're not gonna get a turn. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. It's a good party. I like it. Okay, this is not the worst thing. I like this fight more than I like the one we did earlier that was very similar, because man, screw those skeleton noblemen and their stupid cops. Okay, so this guy's got effectively three health, and that guy's got effectively one. We probably are going to get an abyssal artillery to finish them off. Do I want the op? I'm gonna... I'm gonna go for the op. Ah. Yep, that's the kind of thing you, uh, you generally want to prevent them from doing. As you can see, it has a chance to stun all four of your party members. Please do not do that again. Now my Hellion's all debuffed. <laughs> yeah, you showed him. What does it mean to critically blight someone? Like, I know what it means mechanically, but... You got it in their eyes, maybe? I mean, actually, like, imagine how that must sting. Yeah, go for it again. Maybe we'll get lucky. Okay, so he's at 20. I think we can get him. Maybe not. Very close, very close. Well, he's dead now. Let's just take a moment and recover. That was not quite as much as I was hoping for. That's not bad, though. Okay. We do not need this. We don't really need busts, so I'm going to tend to value like any amount of money over the busts, but I do not value two food over a bust. I mean, it's not like they're useless. We can still like convert them into, uh, into crests and stuff, right? Did I bring holy water? I didn't bring holy water. I'm... Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and dig in that. Wow, that is 2,500 gold. It's the bus, right? Yeah. Let's try to see what this next curio is without walking too far so that I don't have to... Alright, I don't want to touch that. We'll just backpedal. You don't want to backpedal too much because the stress penalties that you can take while doing it are pretty harsh. Okay, well, at least both of the hallway fights were nice and easy. And the only actually dangerous enemy here is this spider. Mm. Eradicated. Alright, so you're at 10. Okay, good enough. The most dangerous part about Grave Nibble isn't even the stun, it's that it can spread disease. I'm totally fine with him hitting the Plague Doctor with it, though. Destroyed. Okay. This Pretty good so far. At least promises success. It's maybe a little early to be uh, crowing about victory, but I'm feeling pretty good so far. We do need portraits, right? We spent some portraits, so we do need some more. But we need money very badly right now. Money and crests are really our primary concerns at the moment. It's possible we will end up getting 
little to no value out of, uh, I have five torches left, out of the medicinal herbs, but I'm going to hold on to them for now. I'm debating whether I want to torch up. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and torch up. Being at maximum light gives you the highest possible scouting chance. You do this. Okay. Just curious what this curio is. Um, I'm not gonna bother. That one can buff you, but the buff lasts until camp, and I'm sure we will want to camp before the boss, you know, to set up our buffs and stuff. Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. Mm. Bandages, maybe? Let's not... well... You, you touch it. No, I'm trying to... there we go. Eh, he'll be fine. <laughs> He's got the runs, well... That's not great. Can't transform out of that. Do I want to torch up? No, I think this might be an okay time for a camp, actually. So what's up with all of the enemies being surprised by us? You think they heard we were going to the courtyard and they just assumed we wouldn't come back? <laughs> that makes a lot of sense to me, actually. Okay, so he's dead. He'll blight out. Let's just make sure this guy goes down. Destroy them all. All right, who's ready for some uh, inordinate sanguination? I really love the abomination. I don't know why. I basically just used the same skill over and over again with him. But I guess it's his ability to do one thing that is broadly useful really well, but then to be able to pull you out of the fire. You know, if stuff really turns around on you, you can transform and just, like, get it done. This poor guy, he has no idea. He had no idea what he was signing up for. He got stunned again. Cursed champion falls. That did not go his way. Success so clear. Uh, we didn't get a scout. Or is it merely a trick of the light? I think I'm gonna go ahead and camp here. Yeah. Circle in the dark. The battle may yet be won. We have twelve or we have twenty-two food. I think we can afford to do this. I just don't know if we need to. Yeah, you know, what? I'm gonna I'm gonna soft pedal it on the eating. Cuz I don't I don't think we need a big push. Oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> I went and bought it and then I didn't equip it. Uh Well, So we can definitely pull battle trance, right? We have more than enough time to buff up however we want. I'm also going to reject the gods, I think, just so, sort of redistribute her, her stress a little bit. And we have seven time units left. So he could take on basically all of the party's stress and then heal it off very easily. But we're such low stress, I don't think that's worth doing. Uh, we can buff the heck out of the Hellion again. Yeah. What the heck? Let the Eldritch Powers course, man. And then probably we should remove his runs. Momentary abatement. <laughs> the, le the leeches will get in there and fix that. Don't you worry about it. Nobody else look. Everybody turn away. <laughs> the leeches need to do their work in secrecy. Yeah, plus four speed. Sure. Seems fine. We're ready. If we get ambushed in the night, it could be bad, but, uh, you know, we're powerful. We are healthy and mentally steeled. The light. The promise of safety.
Okay. Healthier and mentally steeleder. Watch your step. Okay. Thanks, Wayne. That's very helpful. Uh, we are definitely not turning down 300 gold. So, medicinal herbs. <sighs> the thing is, I know as soon as I drop them, we're going to run into one of those alchemy tables. Well, you know what they say about a bird in the hand, or, you know, I'm not 100% sure uh, where that phrase comes from. I guess the hunting thing? Ooh, that's a bad surprise. <laughs> this is not ideal. We certainly don't want to move Vaughn forward. I'm just going to have him pray a little bit. I don't want to move Vaughn forward while she's in a, the wrong position. I'm going to give her a chance to get, get forward. No, we should just move forward. Okay. Death so now the Hellion and the uh, Plague Doctor both have access to better moves. We're a little bit more ready to actually get this done. This party is not very resistant to movement shenanigans. We are not. We are not a positionally versatile group. The blood quickens. Oh. I thought he had it. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> that stack of emeralds is worth almost four thousand gold now. These are some very long hallways. And it looks like we are not going to be getting a, uh, a secret room. Or even the scouting information necessary to determine whether we are getting a secret room. Alright, I counted it up carefully so that we would run out of uh, torches exactly here. Okay, pretty low resistances, except for the stun resist. So we should be able to apply all of our stupid garbage. And we might get a lucky stun or two. Hmm. That seems a little... maybe... overly grand. I really should have eaten food before coming in here. So the Yop is 155, so it has a 60% chance to hit on him, and a 110% chance to hit on him. Yeah, I'm just gonna bleed the dude. Wow. Strike. Not bad. Ah. The cost of going for the Chain Lash is very low, compared to, like, the cost of using Yop instead of a normal attack. You're not gonna die. Nobody's gonna die. Well, not nobody. This guy's gonna die here. But you're not gonna die here. Calm down. We probably shouldn't completely ignore these guys, but I think we can ignore these guys for another moment or two. Also, this guy is Eldritch, and Sacrificial Stab does really high bonus damage against Eldritch. Masterfully executed. Alright, he's at like half already. See, now, now a Yop might be the right play. What am I doing? Uh, pretty torn. I do really want to just focus on the boss, though. Yeah. This allows me to have everybody else just focus on the boss. Wow, he is really he's laying it on, huh? So you're at 85% stun resist now. At 150 is still pretty good. The other thing we can do is throw up on him. Oh, I think they buffed this. I think it, the, the blight actually used to be really weak. Yeah, sure. Oh, 
Oh. Abyssal Artillery also uh, slightly better against Eldritch enemies. What do I want to do here? Do I want to lay, lay into this guy? I think I'm just going to let him sort of die from incidental damage because we're going to be doing a lot of stuff like well this. Struck. Oh, that's right. These guys don't have access to their good attacks if they're not in the first two rows. Just keep puking. Never stop puking. It's like Gordon Gecko said in that movie about those two guys named Gecko. A dizzying blow to body and brain. Okay, it's starting to be like a lot of stress. Maybe, maybe you could cut that shit out. So he's gonna take 18 on this turn. We've almost got him. Strategy! Okay, we had to hit him for a very small amount. Oh, these guys have a guard now? It's possible they've had a guard for a really long time, but I know for a fact that they were in the game before the guard mechanic was. So they certainly haven't always. Alright, unfortunately, dude has no ability to, uh, to affect the necromancer. Okay, that's done it. We win. So, this might be a good time to start, like, fishing for critical heals and stuff. We definitely don't need to, uh... You just keep talking, Wayne, because it's going to keep happening. But we definitely won't need to de-stress the Abomination, right? That's one of the great things about the Abomination. If that sticks, okay, we're good. We made it through. Sure, yell at him a little bit. Your mother's very disappointed in you! I too would be stunned. Okay, Blueprint, Debuff Stone, Book of Constitution. Well... Do we get a scout? We didn't get a scout. Do I want to walk back? Let's eat this stack of food. Take the two trinkets. I'm going to walk back. We don't have any torches. Probably nothing good will come of this. Probably all that's going to happen is we're going to get a little bit stressed out. But, if the game's going to let me get all the way back here and see if there's loot, I think we should take that opportunity. On the whole, pretty smooth. And the loot, um, the, the gold reward from the quest will be nice. You know what? So, what we have determined is that there is a single curio we haven't seen. Well, let's get on it, then. So we could also come over here. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to want to do a room battle with the light being what it's going to be. But honestly, you only need to de-stress an abomination if he, like, goes all the way to afflicted. Because you can bring an abomination into a dungeon at 70 stress and just make sure that you spend the first fight or two um, praying for absolution and everything's fine. He'll be fine. I guess it's worth clicking on it now. Yep, so you get uh, that last that last plus 20% damage is from the statue. Come on, be a chest or something. Oh, you're kidding me. A devastating blow. Well, we can do some things from here. Okay, so that guy's almost dead. Ah. We just need to give him a little touch.
We gotta get this Hellion back into the fight. Actually, from her current position, I think she might be able to. Um, Precision and power. I think she might be able to do if it bleeds from back here. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, one more down. Well, to be perfectly honest, I would rather he crit heal himself for a small amount than non-critically heal. Thirteen hundred gold, These pretty good. Creatures can be felt. They can be uh, I think we're probably not going to need the key, but what if we do? What if this turns out to be a, a cool locked chest? Nah. Terrors may indeed stalk these shadows, but yonder. Alright, let's drop the food and just get out of here. That's not a bad haul at all. Some trinkets that are worth an okay amount of money. Nothing totally spectacular. Almost 7k in quest rewards. Yeah, not too bad. That's like 20,000 gold. Well, almost 7k plus barely 12 is not really 20. With the value of the trinkets we picked up, it's over. It's over 20. Okay, that's going right away. That one I don't really care that much about. Night blindness is not really that big of a deal. Not the way I play, anyway. And Warren's Explorer is, is better than Clotter. That is a definite upgrade. Clotter, obviously, is just a bleed resist thing. And, like... My obsession caused this great foulness. And it okay. is shameful that I must rely upon you to set it right. It is shameful. You should be ashamed. Alright, as always, nothing terribly exciting. I have to check, but... So we are now at 84... Man, this 300 is a lot. Alright, let's figure out what we're doing next before we make any further plans. So neither of the boss trinkets that we're showing are particularly exciting. The stun amulet's fine. That's a totally fine trinket. What is this? A hero's ring? No thanks. Ooh, the ancestor's pistol is a nice item. We do not have a party that can go after this. But it's a nice item. 15 accuracy and 3 speed is pretty cool. And here we have a book of holiness... Okay, these are the both the, both the same thing. They're going to trigger All Saints Day. I don't remember. I think we might have seen All Saints Day. I don't remember what it is. I'm thinking we might do this, though, just because I know we have some... Yeah, we have some people that, that could use a little bit of XP. And this is actually a party, like, without us having to do anything. Fitzroy can fight just fine from here, and then... Bam, gets all of our, all of our low-level guys basically into boss fighting shape. Tullus will still be a little bit low. Um, yeah, it's low impact. Get us some, get us a little bit more money. I think it's a good idea. Okay, so, that being the party, do I want to bother equipping them with stuff? I mean, we should give them some stuff, right? I'm going to leave them a little bit of extra trinket carrying space. Each one of them gets one thing. Actually, this focus ring is probably better than at least one of the things we put on. 
Yeah, don't miss. Missing's bad. Okay, and this was a medium, right? It's one one camp, yeah. Gather three holy relics is a little bit less treasure than I would like, but it'll do. Alright, so the other thing we need to do, obviously, is handle this situation that we created. Power, how you doing? 39, that's fine, I guess. Kusi's at 37. Oh, that's right, uh, somebody needs to go into, yeah, you. I feel like Kusi has spent a huge amount of time in the sanitarium. Way more than everybody else. Possibly more than everybody else combined. Dudley won't meditate, and Castellan is a flagellant. Okay, well. That's very annoying. He is only into the most expensive treatment. I was going to have Dudley get nice and drunk, because getting drunk is cheap, but... Alright, I guess he'll pray. He can't meditate, but he can pray. I would imagine that the stress reduction potential of those two things is fairly similar. Given that they're, you know, they're fairly similar acts, sort of like in the physical dimension, what you're actually doing. Whatever, man, what do I know? Let us do this. Not today, obviously. Listen, I'm very busy. We'll come back next time. We're headed into the ruins. We're just gonna level up some of our dudes who are lagging behind. And we'll see you then.